Okay, like this. Is this a good example? Hi friends, this is Laura, aka Lulu Sketches. For today's video, I'm going to be critiquing my artwork from middle school. <laughs> you might have seen a few of my old middle school drawings from past videos, like my art journey, but some of these drawings from middle school have never seen the light of day. The light of the internet. These drawings are not online. <laughs> So we're gonna look through them today. I'm thinking about making this into a series, like critiquing my old drawings from middle school and then doing a video where I critique my first digital drawings and then critiquing the portfolio that got me hired. So if that's something you'd be interested in, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Okay, let's get started. I've ordered these from oldest to newest. This is a drawing of Persephone and Hades. So to start off, I definitely see potential here, but I am a little confused about the poses. One thing that kind of stands out to me is the way that Persephone is standing. It seems like she's leaning over. It doesn't seem like she would have her balance. Usually when people stand, their weight, they shift it to one side or the other. But here, I just can't tell where her legs are under that dress. What I would tell myself here is to really sketch out that pose before committing to the dress covering everything up. Also the way that Persephone's shoulders, the way she was standing, it looks like one of those shoulders should kind of be behind her and I kind of just hid the hands here. I can see that I did draw a hand on Hades but is that a hand? With Persephone, I just hid both of her hands because I probably didn't really know what to do with this pose. And then the pose just ends up not really making much sense. Also, I'd say for the shape of the faces, they have a good size, um, what is this called? Skull? What's the word? Cranium. No. I think here I could have benefited from looking at an actual skull to see where those eye sockets are, where those cheekbones are. Yeah, it seems like I was kind of stuck in that face shape because both these characters kind of have the same face shape. And you can see Persephone's right eye is just significantly smaller than the left eye. I was trying to show that one of her eyes is further away. Just drawing the eye the same way, making it smaller, doesn't work. So my main points for this drawing would be thinking about center of gravity, where Persephone is holding her weight, the shape of a skull, how pushing back a shoulder would look, as well as turning the head and pushing this eye back, and just not being afraid to draw hands. The only way you're gonna get better at hands is practice. Okay, the next drawing is another goddess. I think at one point I drew all the gods and goddesses. I was really into mythology. This is Aphrodite. Already I can tell that my characters are looking very similar to each other. They're all facing left. I'm probably not comfortable drawing to the right, but I can see that there's more anatomy going on here. Still her center of gravity is off. It looks like she might just fall forward. She's wearing a more form-fitting dress, so I can actually kind of see what I was doing with the pose. This is another one where I think that I should have done a very loose drawing first to figure out that pose. I can even see like the way I was holding the pencil, I was kind of doing very harsh lines like this. I think if I had been holding the pencil looser in my hand and using my whole arm, I really could have gotten some smoother lines on this. This is a very stiff pose, even though I was trying to make her look kind of elegant. I would tell myself to try to include more movement in those characters. And again, I would tell myself to check out the anatomy of a skull, and I think that would be helpful. Okay, for my next one, I can tell that this is a self-portrait of sorts. It is drawn on this really gorgeous yellow paper. <laughs> Most of these drawings were done on like whatever I had in my backpack at school, random notebooks, there's always lined paper, the back of worksheets. When I didn't have access to printer paper, worksheets were the next best thing. But for this one, I'm definitely seeing improvements here. You can see that I pushed one of the shoulders back to kind of show the torso at an angle. This pose is pretty boring. I'd rather kind of see where that weight is because people usually don't stand comfortably with their weight perfectly distributed between their two legs. Also, I'm seeing improvements in the shape of the face. I kind of gave up drawing those sharp cheekbones, I guess, because this is much smoother. I still have some work to do with anatomy. If the shoulder is back like this, then your arm is not gonna look identical to the shoulder that's in front. The length of the thighs to the knee is looking 
pretty short, but still I'm definitely seeing some improvement in anatomy. Okay, next is a piece of fan art. This is Yuki from Fruits Basket. The same Yuki that I'm still drawing today. I was painting Yuki in my layer effects tutorial. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. And that finished piece is on my Instagram. So here is Yuki casually leaning back. Let's just imagine that there is a wall right here that he's leaning against because that would make this pose make more sense. So his legs are very elongated, but I think I was trying to do the anime style. Yuki in the anime does have very elongated features, so I'll let myself get away with that one here. Again, I'm just kind of making that further away eye just smaller, but it's looking better. I'm not liking where this back leg is bending. It doesn't really make sense where his knee is right here. The knee should have been much lower there. Looks like I kind of gave up on the hands in this one too. It happens. But I really like the way that I pushed his shoulder back. You can kind of see the anatomy of his torso now. The critique I would give myself on this one is to check out the way that cloth folds, where his elbow is here, that's where the cloth would be folding. I think that would help improve this drawing, along with fixing this back leg here. The next one is one of my Neopets. I used to play Neopets like nobody's business. I drew all of my Neopets all the time. So this was my favorite Neopet. She was a Kugra, if you guys remember the species of Neopets, like I do. I'm not sure about the neck in this one. I think her body type is less like a tiger, even though she has stripes and kind of more like a lioness. I really like how I have a big muscle at the top of her front leg, but uh, her chest here just seems pretty flat. I mean, the part where it comes out here is just extra fur. That's not actually muscle. The neck seems a little long and a little curved, and I kind of drew more of a human collarbone and very human eyes. So for this one, I think I'd tell myself to reference a lioness or a tiger if that's the direction I wanna go in. I like this tail a lot. I really like that bend in it. I think that gives a lot of personality. However, I think the stripes on here look a little flat. See the stripes on her front arm here? That's supposed to have more bulk to it. These stripes would be curved curved around that object. I think curving those stripes and showing the form of her would really give her some more bulk. And she has a mohawk, and that's pretty neat. Good job, middle school me. For this next one, this is the same character in her human form. Oh yeah. Avril Lavigne was my style icon in middle school. <sighs> like the really big bulky pants and like a tight top. Okay, the first couple drawings we looked at were very anime. The eyes were oversized for the face. I don't think I was leaving enough space on the face for expressions. I like the direction I'm going in here. I can definitely see a better shape of the skull. And I can see the improvement here with the shoulder that's back here. See how this arm is back behind the body now? You can see there's a big improvement here because the arm is actually following where the shoulder is. And I'm, I drew a hand here. I think I would tell myself to look in the mirror, look how my hand looks in this pose, and also to check out the skeleton of a hand, where those knuckles are. Still am struggling with some proportions of the legs and the arms. You can see how this forearm, the top of the arm is so short. She's kind of lost her shoulder on this side along with the top of her arm. The top of the leg just kind of ends right here. It's very short in comparison to the bottom half of the leg. Also, I tell myself to reference a foreshortened shoe. See how this shoe here I kind of show like the whole top of the shoe, but from this angle, how she's sitting on a flat plane here, unless she's actually sitting on a hill going down this way, you wouldn't be seeing like the full top of her shoe like that. So if Mabel is like this, is this a good example? Here's the top of Mabel's foot. Here's what it looks like when it's flat. What are you doing with your legs? <laughs> Why am I using my dog for this? Okay, I got a shoe. Unless she's on like some big slant, the shoe is gonna look more like this. So I would tell myself to reference a shoe from this angle to figure out how foreshortening works. Okay, and here is the last drawing we're going to critique today. I'm just wondering where the back of this girl's skull is. It's way too flat along here. Really need to 
push that out. If you can see how an eye lines up with an ear, this eye is way too high. She doesn't really have a forehead. I think their legs are looking better. I can see that I even tried to push these legs back in space with shading and with the knee placement, but I'm definitely seeing improvement here. There's more shading going on, some form coming out. The anatomy of their bodies is looking a little better. These proportions are looking better on their arms and legs. I think I would have told myself to look at what faces look like in profile, where their ears are in relation to their eyes, and even though it's hidden under hair, make sure to draw the back of the head, that extra bulk there, and don't forget the forehead. Okay, so I finished critiquing several of my middle school drawings. Even looking at those, I could see there was improvement throughout. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye!